a warm day it is today. Oops. I, I'm going to read a book for some of my friends uh, as soon as I turn on the camera. Oh, it's already on. Oh, dear. It's already on. Okay. Hi. My name is Meme, and I travel around in my RV, and I like to read books for my very special friends. Uh, some of you I met in person, and some of you I just see right now. Some of my special friends are Dondi and Saul and Danny and, oh, Michelle, too. Yes, hello. But guess who else is my favorite friends? Aiden and Poppy and Cedar. Oh, and Lolly and uh, Mutt's my new friend and Cohen. Uh, who else? Savannah, Emily, uh, Mariah, Charlotte, Elliot, Jojo, Noah, William, Luna. Oh my goodness, there's too many of you. Oh, I see you, Ellie and Josiah and Kira and Olivia, Lincoln, Autumn, Bertie, Bailey, Ruby, Grayson, Mason, Lola, Evie, oh, Charlotte, Jojo, I, I said all you, all of you. I see every one of you. I can't say everybody's name because I have to have time to read the book. And because it's almost Easter, I thought I would try to find a book that had a bunny because everybody knows at Easter the bunny comes and hides the eggs and things like that but I don't really know how that really works there's a lot of stories about the Easter Bunny I have seen the Easter Bunny in real life a couple times uh we're very close but not as close as Santa Claus and I Santa Claus and I you know we very close anyway so anyways I'm gonna find my book it has a bunny on the front it's about uh a bunny rabbit let me look is it under my table no, it's not here. What's that? What's that you say over there? It's over where? Over here? Oh, no. That's, that's not it. Oh, over here. Oh, let me see. Do you mean it's right around? Wait, move my hand where? Back. Move it back. Did you say move it back? Back, back. And now what? Look at my hand. <gasps> oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. This is the book I was going to read. It's called Bunny Trouble. Hmm. Bunny Trouble. Can you say Bunny Trouble? Bunny Trouble. All right. Let's check it out. It looks like a soccer ball is going to have something to do with it. Do you see the soccer ball? I do. Oh my goodness. Look at all the bunnies. Look at them all. Once there was a rabbit colony that was different from any other. The rabbits here were in charge of decorating all the Easter eggs for the Easter bunny to deliver. Oh, that makes sense because I always wondered how the Easter bunny did all that. But okay. Everyone worked year round to get ready. Can everybody see all those eggs? Do you see them all? Can everybody say what a bunny says? I can't hear you. Oh, I see you're doing it like this. That's what a bunny does. That's what a bunny does. Can you do that? Good job. Everyone. Okay, so anyways. Everyone worked year-round getting ready. Everyone except for Ralph. He cared for only one thing. Soccer. Oh, see, look, he's kicking it. It hit the scarecrow. Oh, and it, it startled the pigs. Hey, do you know what pigs say? Oink, oink. Can you say oink, oink? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> nothing to do with the book. I just thought it would be fun. Okay, so anyway, it worried his father and his mother. Look at this. Look at this problem. It's breaking everything. You, you shouldn't play ball inside the house. Everybody knows that. That's not part of the book. I'm just saying it. It worried the other rabbits in the colony. 
Everybody's worried. It worried his teachers in school, where all the young rabbits went to learn egg decorating. Where was Ralph while everyone else was hard at work in the classroom? He was outside working on his fancy footwork. Oh no, it broke the window. Okay, can you do what a bunny does? Can you do that? Yeah, that's what they do. I think that's what they do. I think I think carrot. Mm. Okay, so anyway. It worried his sister, sister Liza, especially when he ruined her birthday party. Oh, no. Oh, no. Liza loved Ralph more than anyone else in the world, but she knew that one day he would get into trouble. He just didn't fit in. You know, not everybody's always the same. We're all different in our ways. Each year, as Easter approached, everyone got busier and busier. The chickens laid more eggs. The painters, the jelly bean makers, and the basket stuffers all worked overtime. Look at them all working. Ralph had to work too, but he had a hard time keeping his mind on the job. Instead, he was thinking about his place kicks and he tried just one. Oops, over went a full basket of eggs. Oh no, the exhausted chickens groaned. The ra rabbits shouted at Ralph, go play soccer on the other side of the tree so we can finish our work in peace, they said. They probably said it like a garter. You know how they do. Can you do it? Yeah. Sometimes when I eat salad, I like to eat it like a rabbit. Get my lettuce and eat it really good. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, Ralph was glad to go. He went off to play by himself on the other side of the forest. Oh, look, there's the ball went by the moose. Oh, by the bear. Oh, by these little meeseys. That night, he did not come home. What? His mother wept. She cried and wrung her hands. Where could he be? Can you? Where could he be? She wondered. And with Easter, just two days away. Morning came. Still, Ralph had not come home. Liza slipped out to search for him. She found him not far away, locked in a cage. A farmer had caught him while he was practicing his dribble in the cauliflower field. The coach always told us to look where we were going, not at our feet, Ralph joked sorrowfully. Don't worry, Liza told him. I'll go and get help. See, it's locked in the box. Oh, this could be a big, big problem. She ran back past the busy rabbits, calling, Mama! Mama! We must save Ralph! The farmer has caught him and is going to make him into Easter dinner! Oh, oh no. Oh, this sounds bad. I knew that bunny would get into trouble someday, wept Mama as she followed Liza to Ralph's cage. It had thick bars and a heavy padlock. We'll never get him out of there, moaned her mother, the mother, mother, when she saw Ralph inside. Can you? Yeah. Of course we will, said Liza firmly. I think I can get the lock open. Hmm. Liza worked for hours, but the lock refused to be picked. The bars wouldn't bend. The door couldn't be pried off. Look at that. She's trying everything. If I ever get free, whispered Ralph, I promise I'll never play soccer again. No, Ralph said Liza. You want to be a soccer player and you will be too. But you also have to help with the eggs. And not be such a nuisance, added Mama. Ralph knew they were right. He promised to do what they said. Hours passed. Suddenly, Liza cried. I've got an idea that 
will do the trick, but we must hurry. Liza and Mama ran all the way home. In no time, Liza was back carrying a small bundle under her arms. She squeezed it carefully through the bars of Ralph's cage. Then she whispered the plan. I wonder what it is. I can't hear the whispers. The next morning, there was a great commotion around the cage. Ah! They put Easter eggs in there. Smart! Inside it, next to Ralph, was a basket of the most beautiful Easter eggs anyone had ever seen. Some were polka dotted. Some were dyed deep purple, and some were painted with rainbows. The farmer's children gathered around. He must be the Easter Bunny, they exclaimed with wonder. How else could he have gotten those How else could he have gotten those eggs? We must let him go, or there won't be any Easter for us. So the farmer opened the cage door, and Ralph ran, ran home as as he could. But he didn't forget Liza's words. He did try harder with his painting. Ralph even became known for one special design, which he did far better than anyone else, and almost as well as kicking, passing, and scoring. Well, isn't that wonderful? Have you ever played soccer? One time, I've played it a few times. One time I tried to really kick the ball hard and um, I, I fell down. But I didn't get hurt, so it was okay. Well, anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful Easter. I love you all.